Hello, grade 9 students, and I'm back. We will be answering the learning task number 3 for week 8. So, ito ay tungkol sa mga word problems related sa similar triangle theorems and Pythagorean theorems. Okay? So, week 8 na tayo under ito ng assimilation phase. First question, if the hypotenuse of a right triangle measures 25 meters while a leg is 24 meters, what is the measure of the other leg? So, let's illustrate our triangle. So, this is a right triangle and yung hypotenuse niya is 25 meters or yung C natin is 25 meters. And yung isang leg is 24 meters or ito yung tatawagin nating B. Ang hahanapin natin is yung measurement ng another leg, which is ito yung A or yung side na to. Para makuha natin to, i-apply lang natin yung formula na to. A is equal to the square root of C squared minus B squared. So substitute natin yung mga values niya. Yung C natin is 25, so 25 squared minus yung B, 24. Okay, 24 squared. 25 squared is 625 minus 24 squared, so 576. 625 minus 576 is 49. Then get the square root of 49. The square root of 49 is 7. So therefore, yung A natin dito is 7. Number 2. A tower casts a shadow 8 meters long. A vertical stick casts a shadow 0 0.6 meters long. If the stick is 1.2 meters high, how high is the tower? So, mag-drawing tayo ng tower, kunyari. So, ito yung tower, ito yung height niya. Tapos, yung kanyang shadow nag-cast ng 8 meters long. Aside sa tower, meron pang isang vertical stick. So, ito naman siya, vertical stick. At yung shadow niya nag-cast ng 0 0.6 meters long. So, ito yung shadow niya. And ang height ng ating stick is 1.2 meters. Ang question, how high is the tower? O yung sukat nitong side natin dito. Kasi ito yung tower. So, i-apply lang natin yung natutunan natin about similar triangles. Kukunin natin yung ratio ng mga corresponding sides nila. So, this is the unknown. So, just write x to it. Then, kunin natin yung mga ratio niya. So, yung x over ang corresponding side niya is itong 1.2. Is equal to 8. Ang corresponding side niya is 0 0.6 meter. So, 8 over 0 0.6. Then cross multiply, magiging 0.6x is equal to 1.2 times 8, that is 9.6. Then divide both sides to 0.6 para makancel to at matira na lang ang x. So divide na lang natin to, the answer is 16. So ang x natin is 16 o yung height ng ating tower is 16 meters. Alright, so the height of a tower is 16 meters. Number 3. The length of the shadow of your 1.8 meter height is 2.6 meters at a certain time in the afternoon. How high is an electrical post in your backyard if the length of its shadow is 20 meters? Okay, so ikaw ay may shadow daw na 2.6 meters. Tapos yung height mo is 1.8. So yung height mo na to is 1.8 meters. Then ito yung shadow mo, 2.6 meters. Then merong isa pang binigay. Aside sa yung sarili mo is yung electric post o yung poste ng meral ko at your backyard. Then, yung length ng kanyang shadow is 20 meters. So, 20 meters ang length ng kanyang shadow. Ang tinatanong, gaano kataas yung electrical post? So, again, apply pa rin natin yung uh, theorems about similar triangles. Kunin natin yung mga corresponding sides or yung ratio nila. We can say that 1.8 is uh, over 2x. So, pareho sila yung height. is equal to 2.6 over 20. Then, cross-multiply. 1.8 times 20 is equal to 2.6x. So, 1.8 times 20 is 36. Then, is equal to 2.6x. So, divide na natin sa 2.6 both sides para makancel to at maiwan ang x. 36 divided by 2.6. The answer is 13.8. So, ang height ng ating electrical post o yung X natin dito is 13.8 meters. Next, the size of a TV screen is given by the length of its diagonal. 
If the dimension of a TV screen is 8 inches by 15 inches, what is the size of the TV screen? So, ito yung ating TV, kunyari, and meron daw diagonal. Ang, ang measurement niya, 8 by 15. So, aalamin natin yung size ng TV screen. So, para makuha natin yan, kailangan malaman natin yung sukat itong diagonal. So, you can see na para na siyang triangle. So, triangle na siya. At kukunin natin yung uh, diagonal or yung hypotenuse ng ating right triangle, yung longest side ng ating triangle. Kaya pwede natin gamitan ito ng Pythagorean theorem. So, C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. So, ang A natin dito is yung 15. Then, yung B natin is yung 8. So, I square lang natin sila. Then, add. So, 15 squared is 225 plus 8 squared, 64. Then, i-add natin yung 225 and 64. The answer is 289. Then, get the square root. The answer is 17. So, ang size ng ating TV is 17 inches. Yung screen niya is 17 inches. 5. A 13-meter ladder is leaning against a vertical wall. If the foot of the ladder is 5 meters away from the wall, how high does the ladder reach? So, meron tayong ladder. So, ito kanyari yung ladder natin at 13 meter yung ladder natin. So, itong C natin is 13 meters. So, naka-sandal siya dito sa ating wall. Tapos, yung ladder ay 5 meters away from the wall. So, yung distance niya simula rito sa wall hanggang dun sa pinakadulo ng ladder is 5 meters. So, ito yung ating A. Ang tanong, ano ang height nito ating uh, ladder? How high does the ladder can reach? So, ito yung hihanapin natin, yung B. So, apply pa rin ulit natin ang Pythagorean. So, B is equal to the square root of 13 squared minus 5 squared. So, ito yung hypotenuse natin. Square mo lang, then i-minus mo sa square nitong 5. So, 13 squared is 169 minus 25. So, 169 minus 25 is 144. Then, get the square root of 144. The answer is 12. So, ang ladder natin can reach 12 meters. Okay? So, madali lang, ba? Basta kailangan sa pagsasolve ng word problem, kailangan mong i-analyze muna yung question. Alamin ko anong tinatanong. Tapos, kung gusto mo mag-drawing para ma-illustrate mo, kung pwede naman. And, Sa huli, huwag na huwag mong kakalimutan yung unit of measure. Okay? Kasi kailangan din yun. So, kung ang binibigay is yung meters, edi kay lalagyan mo meters yung, yung mga answer. Kung inches, edi inches. So, it depends dun sa ating problem. And that's it for today. So I hope nakatulong ang video ko para masunutan mo ang learning task number 3 about word problems. Huwag mong kalimutan na i-share to sa iba para matuto din sila sa mathematics at ganahan sila lalo na magsagot ng mga learning tasks. At huwag na huwag tayong susuko sa mathematics at mahalin lang natin siya. Once again, this is Teacher V and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and follow me on my Facebook page, V Teach Channel. Alright, see you again next time. Goodbye!